Hi guys, it's your girl Maraska Makawa and I'm here back again with another interesting video. And first, I can't forget to tell you that our, our video is sponsored by Nimura's Baby Shop which is located in Kiambo town on main stage and we are dealing with so many things we have clothes for for we have mutush clothes na new clothes na hizi za mutush ni from 250 to 250 to 500 so guys our video today it's a continuation of uh, the first video we did about toxic peelings toxic parents and i told you that i'll be back again to tell you how to overcome or how to deal with toxic parents so welcome then take your take your pen hmm? take your pen and a notebook and listen to what your girl is gonna tell you about how to deal or how to overcome uh toxic parents so uh first is to thank you for watching the first video and please if you haven't watched go back and watch again so that you know you come now and understand what you're talking about so uh i'll go direct to my points and uh i just have few like five points huh if yeah five points so my first point is uh you need to practice self-care yeah you need to practice self-care you know first even in the bible it's written uh, children obey your parents because huh? when you obey your parents that's when the blessings blessings zita kuja, zita overflow so you have first to obey them no matter how toxic they are yes you have to obey them but even when you are obeying them practice self-care yani kuwa nakale ka you time to to nini to be able to heal don't you know sometimes okay those toxic parents some of them are very abusive huh? so if your parent is abusive just don't uh don't try to argue with them yeah don't try to argue with them sometimes it's good sometimes when a, when a person is arguing with you sometimes it's always good to shut up just shut up let them argue and when they are done if they ha they need answers just answer them and leave just leave them don't uh don't usi nini usianza kubishana na wao cause the moment unabishana na wao that's where that parent anaweza kuambia maybe anaweza kuambia kikitu 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 yenye inaweza ku affect hadi maisha yako so for you to practice self care start loving yourself try to ignore as many any any negative mind ama any any negative anything negative that you have ever been told just try and avoid it yani unaifunga i remember there was a time most people know that i was working in lebanon and uh, i had a toxic boss like that woman was very toxic so i practiced self care and this is how i did i did i was telling myself anything that she tell me that is going to affect my feeling ama my emotions i'm not going to listen to it yani niliweka it's like niliweka um, niliweka nini inaitwa aje barrier aki I, anytime anaongea kitu mbaya i'm not even at high siachi ingie na uko ndani siachi ingie i'll just i'm there she is talking she finished then i go and that's how i was able to survive for in in lebanon for two years like i uh, i try my best to avoid being hurt so self-care is very important and uh, forgiving hmm. forgiving is one okay it's very hard to forgive and forget but forgiving it's it's it's, it's always good to practice forgiving yes if someone just wrong you forgive them and the moment you get used to forgiving people you'll be able to move on forward without uh carrying so much burdens yani unajua kwanza wazazi wazazi mko tu na wao hapa hmm? wazazi mko tu na wao hapa so it's very hard to avoid them but if you want to avoid those such things just forgive 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 even in the bible it's written we forgive 77 times 7 times so it's always good to forgive and you'll be able to move on without carrying all those burdens like carrying your parents like ours as one remember here we are dealing with our parents so uh another point is no need to explain hmm? sometimes maybe that toxic parent want to anakuza anakukonfront na kikitu 
don't explain too much hmm? wachana na hizo my explanation mingi wewe enda tu straight to your point kama ni answer anataka go straight to your point and then wewe unajamaza hmm? wewe unanyabaza cause the more you explain the more you unaleta my issues the, the more unaleta my issues then another point get rid of guilt hmm? get rid of guilt you know those toxic parents maybe the one aiza kuambia kikitu they can tell you something something that may affect you yani unajaribu ku avoid ama unajaribu ku ku nini ku avoid singia kwa akili but unakaa tu chini unakumbuka what what your, your parents told you mm? just try to avoid those guilt yeah don't 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 usiwache usiwache kitu ingia kwa roho cuz the more inaingia kwa roho the more utakuja kuchukia wazazi wako and here we are trying to avoid and uh, we are trying to deal and overcome uh, how to deal with those um, toxic parents so try to get rid of those guilt hmm? just get rid of those guilt and you'll be able to move on softly and yani hata watashangaa how you are dealing with this so set boundaries that's another point you need to set boundaries yes if you need to set boundaries sometimes uh, when you're young it may be hard cuz um uko nao hapa 24/7 like you are there with them but when you grow up and you are able to move out of that home just move out hmm? just move out and you rent for your own peace but when you move out don't forget your parents it's not good even if your parent is how toxic yani kama ni wako toxic aje don't ever forget your parent it's always good to ata kama walikuwa they were very toxic just use your phone mm, to support them we have phones to support them if it's kaimpesa unawarushia kasapa kanini na mungu ataku bless you may not talk to them you may not talk to them because maybe there's those who ata ukiwaongelesha they still talk rude to you just uh, send them something yeah yani even if you are setting boundaries and you are trying and na ushatoka kwa kwenye home ushatoka kwenye home just always remember to support your parent usiachilie mzazi wako atijuu alikuwa nakutusi alikuwa nakukelelesha alikuwa hakuwa nakusupport always support your parent no matter how toxic they are hmm? unless unless hawataki kusaidiwa because i remember historia toxic parent imekuwa nimekuwa nikitaka sana kuiongelelea cuz i saw another post uh, like a lady amejaribu juu chini kusaidia mamake but mamake amekataa hmm? hataki na hataki na hataki amejaribu kumwekea biashara hataki pesa yani anaongea vibaya like instead of appreciating they are just insulting that girl so mtuka huyo you just avoid them hmm? just avoid them wacha angangane kwanza na mashida zake na wewe kwanza you heal so that cuz uh, if you don't heal you are going to pass that thing to your children hmm? utakuja unapata hata hizo mahasira zenye uliachiwa na mama yako ama baba yako utakuja umezibeba kwa watoto wako so it's always good to just heal like i saw another another comment like this lady was like me i was raised by a toxic parent and Uh, after getting children i can realize that she hate her children mm? anachukia watoto wake amewachapa like she had that toxic alikuwa toxic kabisa kwa watoto so what she decided was she took the children to children's home then she went to she went back home to her now to her house and yani ndio aweze ku, ku heal Hmm? Do you always go heal? Then another point, it's always good to go for therapy. Hmm? It's always good to it's always good to go for therapy because um w- people carry so many things that are affecting them and you don't know how to you don't know how to deal with them, you don't know how to handle them. So sometimes if you are able and if you are capable of doing this, just go for therapy. It's always good and healthy to go for therapy so that you'll be able to uh, to forgive you be able to love yourself you be able to even uh, uh to remember to what mesema in the other video that some parents who are wanna kill they kill your self esteem so when you go for therapy you be able to have that you be able to have that self esteem so 
yeah you, you have to you have to go for therapy if you are able to ama if you're not you can't afford just try to have supportive system like have those supportive friends those people who always psych you up oyani wale mabeshi wenye they are pushing you to uh, to the best yani unajua kuna wale mabeshi huwa wanakupush to the right nini to the right ways and uh, kuna wengine wanakupush to businesses wengine wanakupush to building yourself again wengine wana they are there to encourage you yeah just look for a supportive system if you can't be able to afford to, to afford a therapist a therapist so i think um, another point and that this is one of the most important points that uh, in this in this topic try your best not to change them try your best not to change them because if you try to change them fast you can't change it's very hard to change a person unless that person want to change by themselves mm? it's very hard so unless that person want to change by themselves that's the only time you can change them but if they don't want to change just even they are the way they are because babu wataona first una wa disrespect tumekuza alafu sasa unakuja kutuambia how we are going to do to deal with things una tulikuza alafu unakuja hapa kunipea mawaidha who are you yani unaona hizi ni mambo zitaleta mambo mingi so just try your best not to change them uh, the best way i think you can do is just move out of your home and live your own life and when you're living your own life i have told you don't forget that au ni wazazi wako whether walikuwa walikuwa wanakutusi ama walikuwa wanakuchapa kumbuka those are your parents let us let, let us respect our parent and mungu atawa to bless atawa ata, ata, ata bless yes mungu ata to bless and always keep on praying for them yeah keep on praying for them god can change anybody yeah god can change anybody just pray for god to change them and to also help them heal cuz some of them i told you most of them everyone has their own life now everyone has their own past wengine wazazi wengine wazazi wengine unapata maybe someone had a bright future but you as a child you came in na anaonanga like you destroyed their future so just pray for them to heal from the past yes so that you'll be able to move on softly and uh, i know god can god is always there to move mountain yeah god can move mountain so let us respect our parents let's love them no matter what cuz i know hmm? najua those people who don't have parents maybe when you were as well mekufa or maybe they were raised in a children's home they wish they have a parent who is even toxic like you yeah, like you are so it's always good to it's always good to to respect them and love yourself loving yourself is the key to everything the moment you love yourself the moment you keep yourself as a priority the moment you have self care hmm? like you are, you are you are just taking that time of you 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 everything is about you first you are going to be able to overcome any any difficulty so guys that's our video for today hope you have gotten even even if you have not taken all points i hope you have taken one or two three points please don't forget to subscribe share with your friends and also tell us which other topic you want us to talk about and remember our video is sponsored by Nimoras baby shop we are located in Kiambu town kwa main stage and my number is 0714 827789 for orders and inquiries and we have very beautiful for example we have such we have this one eh inibel inibel mpya tulifungua so we have these beautiful sweaters Yes, we have these beautiful sweaters for your babies. All these are sweaters, very warm. So, if you are there and you are looking for anywhere to buy them tush clothes and also new ones, we have new ones for the newborns. We have baby shoes, we have socks, we have kofias, we have towels, we have everything that you need for your newborn. Yeah, feel welcome inside Nimoras Baby Shop hapa Kiambu Town na tutakushughulikia. Bye bye till we meet again in the next video. Turus and tell us which other topic you want us to talk. If you have any question, don't forget to comment down there so that um yes, so that I'll be able to answer them next time. And please, thank you so much for your love.